Hello, welcome, welcome. So in this series, we've been building a CPU from scratch. Currently, we can execute three different instructions and it's calculating the Fibonacci sequence. We have some displays down here, um, which is working again since the last episode. In this episode, I'd like to move us a little bit closer to my original design. Uh, one of the issues is our registers are only 16 bits, but actually this is going to be a 32-bit computer, and I'd like to move us towards that, so, uh, so let's dig into that. So one of the reasons I had it set to 16 bits was 16 bits were all that fit in the instruction itself, but we don't have to carry all 16 bits in the instruction. It was just convenient from before. So let's fix it so that only the first 16 bits comes in on the instruction, but it can carry 32 bits. So then the question becomes what to do with these upper 16 bits. And there's a technique called sign extension that would be useful. That way we can store negative one, for example, in the instruction. And I defer to other videos explaining why you would need sign extension. But essentially the 16th bit or 15th bit, depending on how you call it, the most significant bit would be the one that dictates whether the rest of these bits are all ones or are all zeros. So there is a component that's able to do this. It's called a sign extender. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Let's just do that instead of using a splitter. There we go. I think that should work. And it seems to. Okay, let's see if this works. All right. It definitely goes past the, the maximum storage for 16 bits. So that looks good. I'm not gonna bother fixing like the alignment here because usually we won't be dealing with such large numbers, but if we do, then I will fix it. But okay, I think that worked. So we now have a 32-bit processor instead of a 16-bit one. Um, Another thing that I noticed is that we didn't change this to reflect the fact that we now have move instructions for some of these. So I can fix that now. So the other thing that I was going to do eventually that I didn't really want to do yet, but I'm kind of at a loss as to what else to do in this episode. Um, the instruction size is only going to be 16 bit in the final processor. Currently we've got 32 bit. And I was using 32 bits just so that we don't have to worry about instructions encodings yet. But this episode is mostly about changing around the number of bits in things. So let me just speed through that. One, three, two, two, eight. Uh, I think that adds up to 16. If not, it'll tell me. Oh, yes. Okay, 
Let's run with that. Okay, that appears to work, but of course all of the instructions that we have stored are incorrect. So I will just reprogram it. All right, that appears to be working again. So the processor that I plan on building will only have 16-bit instructions in the end. The format of the instructions will vary depending on what kind of instruction it is. But for now, I've just set it so that each instruction has all of the fields needed. So it'll always have an 8-bit field for value, even if that field is not used. Uh, in the future, we can fix it so that it's more correct. But for now, I just wanted the focus of this video to make all of the bit widths of the processor accurate. So I think this wraps up this episode. We have now just 16-bit instructions here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.